Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. February 27th to March 10th, you can enter your pet into the cutest pet contest. It's $2 in room 16. You should do it. Be sure to send your pictures in to alicia.right at boiseschools.org. The winners will be prize from Habitat Vet Hospital. All proceeds will go to the Idaho Humane Society. Just a note, no pets or animals were harmed in this video. And a special thanks to Mr. Fulmer for joining us. How cool, and now to bring on a video on our Quiz Bowl champions. Hey North, Idaho wins middle school division and sets a new world record for winning the high school division on the last question. The records that were set were the first Idaho team to win any questions unlimited tournament in 41 years, the first one-man team to make the playoffs in any questions unlimited tournament in 41 years, the first team ever to break 300 points in middle school division of the National History Challenge, Boise North did it in all five of their games. That one man is 8th grader Grady Noble, and as far as individual performances are concerned, we've just never seen anything like it. Art history was the category of the final pair of questions in the championship match in the high school division. First, Cartersville fielded this question. What school of art brings to mind Kandinsky and Pollock? Cartersville took the lead by answering abstract expressionism. Colonia which is North Junior High, had to answer this one. Thomas Cole and Asher B. Durand were the leaders of what American school of artists who painted in the Romantic tradition? About 15 seconds of team discussion led to Colonia to the correct answer, Hudson River School, winning them the History Challenge title for the second consecutive year. Right now, I'm here with Grady Noble from the Quiz Bowl. So, Grady, uh, when did you start doing the Quiz Bowl? So we started the club here at North um, back in September, and then we practiced for a little bit, a couple months, um, every Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then we did our first tournament back in uh, November. Uh, what made you guys want to do the football? So I wanted to do it because I had done uh, some academic competitions and things like that previously with history and geography and things like that, and I thought it would be great if I could bring it to a school level mm -hmm. and start representing North. Oh, okay. I thought that would be really cool. What was the hardest part of the quiz bowl for you? I think the hardest part is just it covers so many categories. It's so varied in the things that they ask questions about. Yeah. Trying to find someone who can cover all the categories mm -hmm. um, and trying to make sure that we're a balanced team in that way it was uh, pretty difficult. But I think we've got it pretty well figured out. <laughs> and what was your favorite part of the quiz bowl? I think my favorite part is, well, A, I get to be with uh, some very fun people. So that's, that's uh, a really a plus. And then also, I just love learning, and I think it's a great way to combine competition with that, with that learning and get people really interested in that. Hey guys, I'm here with Miss Shannon. Um, can I know what was going through your mind when you heard of this record-breaking win? Oh my goodness, when I heard about the most recent win, I was not that surprised, but um, I know Grady. And so we know that he's a 
very, very great quiz bowl competitor. Um, it was great reading other people's reactions, though. They were quite surprised that he was um, able to compete in all those different categories on his own and be successful. Um, but as we all know Grady here at North, um, we know he's pretty amazing. And what was the original record for North Junior High for the quiz bowl? You know, this is our first year with an official quiz bowl team. Really? Yeah, so we are really just like learning quite a bit and with the help of um, Grady and his experience in the past, uh, we have quite a great group of students that are well versed in all the different categories and excited to compete. When did you become part of the quiz bowl? Just this year. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, actually, growing up, I didn't even know about Quiz Bowl, but it is a national uh, event that people across the country compete in, and so I'm just excited to be a part of it. Uh -huh. And what made you, like, what kind of made you get into it? You know, I love competition and trivia and history. Uh -huh. um, they're some of my favorite things. I also I uh, love supporting students, and some students came to me and said they wanted to start the, the club, and uh, we just ran with it. And would you recommend this uh, activity to other students? Yeah, quiz bowls for everyone. We have math questions, pop culture, politics, history, art, literature. So if there, that is something that interests you, we would love to meet you Wednesdays during 7th and 8th grade lunch. Now with our librarian, Miss Baker, with some important information. Hey, I just wanted to take a minute and make sure that everybody who might be interested in it knew all about Viking Quest. So Viking Quest is our kind of mini Xbox challenge that's going on this semester. It only goes through May 3rd. So um, we've still got like three months left in this challenge. And the cool thing about this challenge is that you can do just a little bit or you can do a lot. So um, it's kind of like a bingo board. And if you do five in a row, then you get a prize. And there's not a requirement like, oh, this has to be a long book or whatever else like that. It can be a short book. That's fine. It can be a graphic novel. It can be manga. It can be whatever. Um, the point of it is just to try to, you know, inspire you to try some new books. And so um, you do five books and then you get a prize. You do five more books, you get a prize. And then there's also a bonus level. And if you complete your entire bingo card, which is 25, then you get the grand prize and the grand prize includes a t-shirt and it also includes some really nice wireless earbuds. Um, so I totally like invite you to take a look at it. I'm going to share a link to the Viking Quest website. You can also get to that website off of the bakery and um, come down to the library, get a game card and when you get your first five in a row, let us know and we'll get you what you need in order to claim your fun prize. That's me. Cheerleading tryouts are coming up. If you are interested in signing up, see Ms. Hoban in the library to get more information. W Cheerleading. And now Vikings, it's time for some sports announcements. In sports news, 7th and 8th grade boys rugby registration are on Tuesday, February 28th. If you have any questions about the registration process, please reach out to our Rugby Idaho director, Mitch Castro, at mitch at rugbyidaho.com directly for support. Or see Mr. Nemeth for some more information. Are you interested in playing JV softball? No playing experience is necessary. Check in with Mr. Nemeth to get more information on how you can sign up. 8th grade tennis will be having a meeting at lunch today in the wrestling room. Bring a laptop or phone to sign up for the season. If you have any questions about spring sports, see Mr. Nemeth or on the North Athletes website. The FCCLA Club is collecting soda tabs for the Ronald McDonald House in Miss Cannon's room number 120. Keep your soda tabs to help them out. North, we are looking for more people to be interviewed and be our special guests in our weekly news segments. If you are someone who wants to do this, Check out, check out this form either on the screen or check out the posters around the school so that you can be a North News star. And now to Taylor with this week's Viking card drawing. Hello, this is Mr. This is our GSA club, and we are doing the Viking drawing. So, who's 
He's the lucky winner. Kobe Harrison. Kobe Harrison, all right. Yes, one more. All right, Jackson from Mr. Armstrong. Can read the last name? <laughs> okay, right. and now for our two teacher winners. Uh, two teachers. You want? All right, let's see. Let's discover Mr. Fulmer. Mr. Fulmer. Mags. And we hope you've enjoyed this week's news. Bye! Bye.